Okay guys, so the camera's facing down because I'm dyeing my hair. But I want to show you guys what it looks like when I dye my hair. And I made the biggest mistake, like I put these papers um, so that I wouldn't get any paint. But I never in a million years thought, and this never usually happens. But look what happened. I caught some there and immediately, like I wiped it down immediately and it got stained super fast. That's the color that I'm doing. I am doing black and this is what it looks like. I have a strapless shirt on, I'm not gonna go too much, but do you see this? This is what I look like when I dye my hair. Every single time, nothing changes. I always do this. Um, <laughs> um, usually all this stuff comes off, I brush it off in my body too, but I'm a mess. That's why I procrastinate dyeing my hair too because Oh, it's burning a little bit because um, this is what I have to go through and the cleanup isn't always fun but um, today was a busy day I've been working on the yearbook all day and I had a long day at school as well so I didn't really get a chance to vlog so this may be on its own it may not so um, if it isn't then you are just gonna go to the next day that I vlog and if it is, then I'm just going to end the vlog here. And just thank you guys once again for watching. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And kind of keep up with what I am doing. My weight loss, my life, my family problems, my life. <laughs> and everything that goes on with Lolo. So, oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Look at this. I have this crap everywhere. Oh my god, look at my shoulders. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, make sure you subscribe and um, keep up with me and see what else happens. And if you have a channel, please let me know down below because I love looking at new channels and I try to catch up. And when I have like, sometimes I go a few days without watching or having time. And then when I do have time, like I sit there and binge watch everyone's um videos so leave it down below if you do and let me know if you've posted any new videos and I'll go check them out. Good morning home biscuits. I straightened my hair. I don't think I've ever oh I'm not wearing a shirt so I can't go too down but I don't think I've ever really straightened my hair and showed it on camera. This is it in full action. I was a little nervous about the blackness but now that I have my makeup done and I was able to get um, a color I wore, I did it yesterday, um, but my eyebrows were too light and there was something wrong. But I still liked it. I was nervous because I haven't had black hair in such a long time. And I used to love black hair, so I'm not really sure. Sorry, I'm checking myself out, guys. I'm checking myself out. Um, but I was really nervous. But I'm, I'm, I'm slowly coming to it and I, I really do like it. So I think this hair is a keeper. <laughs> not like I have a choice. Permanent black hair dye. I don't really have a choice unless I pay a lot of money and destroy my hair. And I have healthy hair, so I'm not planning on doing that. But I am uh, looking like this because I'm getting ready to go to a conference, as I've mentioned, maybe about a week, two weeks ago. So today's the day. i got to finish packing. And um, I'm going to head out. It's about an hour and a half away from where I live. But um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. My dear friend bless her heart she's a vegetarian um, and I know she tried to do the right thing and she got me a vegetarian wristband for food options but I told her the reality is I can't really eat majority of the food that they serve for vegetarians I gotta try, my AC is on and it was fine because when I woke up I needed something to wake me up and move it move it um, but I don't really have oh yeah and by the way I found new glasses I don't really have um, an option, you know, where they're going to be, ooh, I found my glasses after going through some boxes, the power of cleaning, I tell ya, um, yes, so, we shall see, this is my first time really going on a long trip, it's a three day trip, um, and food options, I don't know what I'm going to do, but it should be interesting, and I like being put in this kind of situations to see what can happen. So, I know for a fact, because we're staying at the same hotel, I've stayed there before, that they have a fridge. So, my thinking is I'm going to go and stock up on fruits and veggies to make sure 
that um, I go well prepared. I believe that the uh, the Continental Breakfast has fruits and they serve oatmeal in water and then they have like additional jugs to pour milk so I just will skip the milk. So it's not going to be too awful and I know that they serve uh, salad dressings um, for like a pre appetizer or whatever, a salad appetizer. So I can always eat that and then depending on what the lunch that they serve, you know, um, you know, even marinara sauce can contain non-vegan foods, but if that's all I have, then maybe, you know, I'll, I'll just, I'll use my judgment when I'm there. So I can't really say yes, I'll eat it. No, I won't because I don't know. I just don't know. Um, so yeah, we shall see. But that's the first thing is I'm going to finish getting dressed. Then I'm going to head out and then I'll catch with you. I have an awesome roommate. So I think we're having to have, going to have a good time time and um hopefully i'll be recording a majority of it it is a very boring not boring but it's a school conference so it's not like i'm going to record absolutely every single thing um because a lot of it may be boring to you guys but i'll record definitely after at night and everything in between that <laughs> i went straight for it i went straight for it i went straight for it this is my friend melissa hi we're at this like, convention center <laughs> hi <laughs> and then that's it because if I say more, then people stuck. Yeah, yeah, right? People stuck. People stuck. People stuck. Oh, yeah. This is how I'm walking around with Target. <laughs> like, the, the, like the classy lady that I am. Because <laughs> I'm tired. Because I've been wearing heels all day. Actually, I brought my little sticky, but it takes forever. Good morning, home biscuits. Good morning. Good morning. You're trying to fix something. Oh, you need to take out that trash, buddy. What trash? Uh, yes, the bag right over there. Oops, I'm doing this way too high. So I just got back from, well, just got back in last night. So we're going to head to drop off Mr. CJ at school. Um, you're going to go to school, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, I did not realize... Last, not this weekend, but the weekend before when I did my weigh-in 13. No, lies. When it was supposed to be weigh-in 14, that, uh, you know, I just said, hey, bi-weekly, yada, 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 yada. And I was had made my decision. And then a week after, when it was supposed to be my weigh-in, that I was going to be out on a conference. And I really didn't pick up my camera because it's just a very packed conference. And, I mean, it wasn't an issue of not being able to record because they're public meetings, but I'm very involved and I pay attention and I get up and I'm very interactive that picking up the karma was just wasn't going to be easy for me. So um, I really didn't do much, so I'm sorry. So I kind of took a little break, but I wanted to do my weigh-in on Monday um, because I don't want to wait another week. So this week, my weigh-in week 15 instead of Saturday, it'll be Monday and then I'll wait two more weeks on Saturday. So here it goes. Um, I hope that my strategy somewhat works where it's like I actually get to see some difference in two weeks. So, okay, I gotta keep moving. So here's the routine. Oh, it's blurry. There it is. 326.0. Oh, it went away. 326.0. I think I was 330, right? In my last weigh-in, I probably should have watched the video before I, I weighed myself, but we were busy getting ready. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna make um, tofu scramble. The last time I had it, I don't think I showed it because it was like my very first time making it, but um, it had a lot of ingredients, which is fine, you can do it. But I had a tofu scramble actually uh, the day, no yesterday, um, at the conference that I went for the they call it a vegetarian option, but they did actually a pretty good job. That's what I was going to talk to you guys about. Um, but first, let me do this. It was very simple, and I'm just trying to recreate it because it was delicious. Uh, the only thing I would say is that it needed a little bit more seasoning, so that's why I'm going to recreate it my way because I know the type of taste buds that I have. So all I've done so far is add potatoes, breasted potatoes, bell peppers, and I'm going to let those cook until softened, um, and then I'm going to remove these. Once they're done, um, I kind of like to let them get a little brown, 
and then I'll alternate and I'll close it and then I'll let it steam for a bit and then I'll take it off and I'll stir it and then close it and that goes on about for a few minutes until you know the bell pepper will um, dull, be dull in color and that's at least I, I don't like it too dull because it's too soft I like a little bit of crunch and then I'm gonna take my tofu so I already have it cut up here my tofu and I'm gonna add some spices I have some of them out I'm considering um, of adding some more so that is what you're gonna do and I'll come back when they are done oh really quickly right now the only thing I've added to that is onion salt that's it um, I didn't add black bell pepper and I don't know why because I love black pepper so I'm also gonna add some black bell pepper to this yumminess see yeah oh my gosh it's already smelling good. You guys, if you've been watching my videos, you guys know that I'm obsessed with cooking with bell, green especially, bell peppers. But bell peppers in general, but especially the green ones. They add so much flavor to food. I don't know, I just like them so much. So I'm going to add some black bell pepper to this. Okay, so I went ahead and took out, why is this blurry? Focus! Okay, so here's my tofu. I went ahead and took out the potatoes and the bell peppers. And to that, I'm going to add some onion salt as well. I'm going to skip on the salt because this already has salt. I'm going to add garlic powder. And I add garlic powder abundantly. I mean, I could have also diced some onion, but I'm out of onions. <laughs> I can't use them up and I didn't go grocery shopping before I left. I'm going to add a tiny bit of cayenne pepper because I like a little kick and by tiny I mean a few dashes and here's the trick that I learned oops it's a lot okay that's gonna give you turmeric it's gonna give you that awesome yellow eggy color to kind of fool your uh, eyes but honestly guys it's it's really the taste that really gets me I could care less the tofu scramble that I had wasn't yellow um, but it was still pretty good uh, like I said earlier, I would have definitely added more seasonings or, yeah, because I, I like adding a lot of garlic, um, which is my, also my second favorite obsession after bell peppers. No, maybe they're equally. But so I'm just going to, you know, kind of break it down as I stir it and it cooks, um, you know, and it also kind of, again, when you do that, it gives it a little bit of the eggy type of look. Traditionally, if you were to scramble some eggs. So I'm just going to keep doing it. I'm going to try to brown it a bit too. Um, just because, you know, I just like that personally. And then I will be serving it. See how simple this was? Unfortunately, I am out of avocados. But um, I would traditionally probably have it with some avocado on the side. I think I have tomato, so I may put some fresh tomato on it. I could have also added the tomato to my potatoes, but I think I'm feeling um, like eating fresh tomato next to it, like something fresh since I don't have avocado. But you see, you see how that's like quickly took the yellow color and um, it also, I mean, aside from the color, it really does add flavor to the tofu, which is the key here. A lot of people have tasted the tofu just bland out of the package. And honestly, personally, I don't think it's disgusting. But obviously, it's not going to have that much of a taste. But some people think it's, like, pretty gross. But it's all about seasonings. And that's something that I'm quickly learning as I'm kind of taking on um, this vegan uh, lifestyle type of thing. So I'm just going to keep doing this until I find the right color to it and consistency. And I'm going to taste it a little bit. And if I need to add, oh, I'm going to also add black pepper, but I need both of my hands to do that. So I'm going to do that now. All right, here's the final product. I tried to mimic what the catering company for the conference did where they laid a little bit of the tofu on the bottom and some of the potatoes. They didn't have a uh, tomato, but I laid like three on top. It's so fancy. Look at me getting so fancy. Um, okay, I'm going to dig into this because I'm starving. So I have to do a lot of unpacking today and just kind of, you know, clean out my refrigerator. Just make sure nasty is in there. 
And then uh, I might go to the grocery store. I'm not 100% sure. I might want to eat up some of the stuff that is still good in there before I go shopping. Because I don't know. If, does anybody else do that? When you go shopping, you like want to try everything new. It's kind of like when you go shopping for clothes. You have things in your closet, and then you go buy a new shirt, and then that's all you want to wear is your new shirt. That happens to me a lot. But that's why I don't want to do that just yet. I want to make sure that I eat whatever is in there that is still good before it goes bad. So I'm going to dig in. And whatever I do, I'll just catch up with you guys later. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to follow me on all my social media at I am Lolo. And don't forget to subscribe.